you. Okay. Michelle Noel here over at San Diego Comic Con 2019. Joining me right now is Emmy and voiceover director, Miss Andrea Romano. She's here to talk about, <laughs> well, actually celebrate Batman Beyond and talk about the new edition that's coming out in DVD and Blu ray in October. Hi, Mrs. Romano. Hi. Thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. I actually didn't think I was ever going to see you again because we keep oh. hearing this retirement, but then she's always here. She's always back. <laughs> I'm like, how am I keep missing I, her? I can't, I can't resist the you draw know. of the fans. Oh, no. And to see my friends again who I've oh, worked yeah. with. Uh, just a moment ago, I saw all the Teen Titans, and I was like, oh, oh my children. That's so awesome. why would I not come? Exactly. And I am retired, yeah. and I'm loving retirement. I love But I do you. love coming to these events because mostly it's people just saying, nice things to me yeah so why wouldn't i come i mean you're a childhood you're a, this is nostalgia and plus you know coming from a female perspective that's thank the you other for that. thing it's like thank you, know, you. It, we don't see that many females in this industry and you being that pioneer opening the doors for us thank it's just so you. amazing I, I wanted to do that yeah and i'm glad that i succeeded thank Especially you for saying for those something geeky girls out there they're yeah, just absolutely. like hey you are our role model thank so you for that thank what's you what's it like celebrating this 20th anniversary i can't believe it's 20 it. years first know, of all right? it's pretty shocking this yeah. 20 years and i'm very glad you know, I do a lot of comic cons and I love doing them and I want to do more. Yeah. But whenever some of they'll bring people will bring me their own items to be autographed. Yeah. And they would bring me the Batman Beyond box set. Ooh. And I would say, I love this show so much. Why is there not more attention to this show? Yeah. And then this came up and I thought, thank God it's being paid attention yeah. to. And that it's still and I watched a bunch of episodes because I hadn't seen it in so many years. Sure. And I thought this is still pertinent. It's still vital. It's still contemporary yeah. and it still seems like a show that could take place in the future exactly and it's that's so relatable awesome. to every new generation that comes after that, i'm even so after glad that. that's what I you want it. to do when you make a series you want it to be something that parents will watch and then they'll have their kids watch it and then maybe their kids will exactly. watch it and that's beautiful what important message do you want people to get out of this because it's a very interesting origin story original storyline I, I think that what the most important message certainly is unlike backgrounds people from completely diverse and different backgrounds can work wonderfully together if they're willing yeah. and I think that's really important in this world today yeah. that these I mean Terry McGinnis comes from no money yep. he was just in juvie he was literally incarcerated yep. he um, he's, he's kind of got an anger going on and then you've got Bruce Wayne who's retired yep. he's a recluse incredibly wealthy and and they find a common ground together yeah. and and a bond and a friendship that's astounding yep. beautiful beautiful you helped up uh, you helped kick off so many amazing actors into the voiceover world yay what is it that uh, that you look what kind of qualities do you actually look for when you recommend actors into the voiceover world i, I look for good acting number one mm -hmm. really really good actors because that's not something i can teach in a session yeah. i can teach mic technique i can teach you how not to pop on a microphone right. right I can teach you how not to uh, or how to do fight walla I can teach you that stuff okay. but I need good actors first For then sure. I need people who are high energy because animation is big it's broad actors who have stage experience tend to segue into animation voice acting easier than people who have only been feature film actors because feature film is the camera catches everything mm -hmm. they can work very small Feature films in animation can work small because yeah. they have a lot of money and a lot of frames yeah. to get Sorry. little innocent moments. <laughs> Batman. 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 Yeah, Batman. <laughs> Being Batman means you never have to say you're sorry. He's either photobombing or someone else running into our interview. Did he photobomb you? He always photobombs me. He's unbelievable. Me. Oh my gosh, in every interview I go to. <laughs> but I, I, I looked for actors who would trust me. Yeah. Actors who would... Uh, let the, let me direct them True. and even if it seemed like i was asking them to do something ridiculous yeah. for example some people would have a really hard time saying what we would create as words that were swears yeah. so say the word was um whatever you know uh blalo yeah blalo and so they would have a hard time going blalo blalo so i'd say say the dirty word right. first just say that word and then right after it exactly like it say blalo wow. and we'll cut the dirty word out and so that works so well for actors. So I would I'd find tricks like that. So they would trust me okay. that I know what I'm talking about okay. and that I'm not going to lead them astray. I'm not going to embarrass them. Wow. I never had any reason to have anyone be embarrassed. You take I play by ear to a whole nother level. It's just like you really do have that talent. Like I thought Thank I could you. grab things, but no, you have like a, another sense. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Thank amazing you. Gift.
Thank the voiceover director community is very small. It is. What's it like interacting with people like Wes Gleason and all those people? And what do you guys talk about? Like. Um, we talk about things other than animation, voice there acting. Okay. We talk about what's going on. Wes has some terrific children that I love to play oh, with, and he's a great guy. Well, yeah. I'd go to a lot of parties. We'd okay. be invited to the same parties, right, and so I'd right. see his kids. Yeah. And, and 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 I have very positive feelings about all the voiceover directors yeah. because we all were doing the same job mm -hmm. with different techniques and different um, experiences. I was very fortunate that when I came into the industry. Um, I was able to make a name for myself, yeah. and 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 by the nature of how many fantastic series I was asked to direct, I I I, I built up a very strong reputation. That was lovely. And so when I retired, I was able to say to these other people, do good work, yeah. treat actors with respect, do your homework, and 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 enjoy it because. Sure people would kill to have this career. Oh, yeah. I, I was well aware all during my career how lucky I was to be doing that work. I was working with people I love to work with, the actors. Yeah. The creative crew that I worked with were stunning on everything, whether it was Avatar at Nickelodeon or Batman and Justice wow. League and all those with at Warner Brothers or uh, Boondocks with um, Sony or and all those wonderful different, and I love the fact that there were so many different types of shows that yeah. I did. Shows for little, little kids like Spongebob, Aww. also for adults, yeah. and then the real action shows that were clearly for older people, except this show, which was deliberately created for a younger audience, for which sure. I think it did absolutely succeed would there be any project that would make you want to like just come out of retirement and be like yes just one more there's really many of them this is one of them this is one if they were to make a feature based on this i would i would absolutely come out of retirement now, is there for anything it. particularly that we should look out for in the dvd you know, knowing that it is remastered there's a few but new footages and new if stuff. you haven't seen the show in yeah. a while it's such a pleasure. I just watched it myself recently okay. to remind myself mm -hmm. what was going on in this so that I could speak intelligently at this Told panel and stuff. Right there, yeah. And and it's I had forgotten so much of how wonderful a series it is and how it still holds true and how it again seems like it could be a show that will take place in the future. There's Why still things there? that are exactly. future. Exactly. Yeah. So um, I think everybody will have an absolute pleasure of walking down memory lane and rediscovering. Oh my gosh, I am so looking forward to it. I mm -hmm. hope you guys are too. Be sure to cap ba Batman Beyond that's coming to you guys via digital and Blu-ray in October. Andrea Romano, it's such a huge pleasure to finally meet you and got to talk thank to you. you and just made this much. whole journey so worth it for the last 10 years. Um, and thank, thank you. you so much and best wishes to the cons and cheers to you thank and everything you you've much. done for this community. Thank you You're so much. You're very kind. Thank, thank you. you. Pleasure. Thank you. Michelle Noel here over at San Diego Comic-Con 2019. Joining me right now is Bob Goodman. He's the writer over at Batman Beyond. Hey, Bob. Hello. Hi. Thank you so much for being here. Well, thank you. This is fun. Isn't it? I mean, congratulations on your 20th anniversary. <laughs> and how's it like looking back? back at it and looking at it as one of your early steps in your career you know what's your overall experience that's that's that? uh, interesting to both parts of those yeah. so so looking back it's very exciting because i think the show still holds up mm -hmm. uh, i think it still looks beautiful i think um i can still be proud of it up against anything else that's been done since or is being yeah. done now uh, i think the stories are as relevant as ever um in terms of its place in my career you're absolutely right that i'm uh, not knock on Batman. Yeah. I've had, uh -huh. I've, you know, everything's gone well. Uh, uh, but yeah. my time at Warner Brothers Animation, that, that's where I really started. It was my first job. It's true. And it was a training ground. It's where I learned to write television. Wow. Um, and you can't ask for better mentors than, than Alan and Paul. Yep. Uh, better teachers of how to write. And I got to write scripts at a pace that you don't get to do anywhere oh, else yeah. in TV. Where did you draw inspiration knowing the fact that it is kind of a bit of an or origin storyline, original storyline? For, for Batman Beyond? Yes. Uh, well, it's the stuff that you know, I know you've, you've heard before and, and Bruce talked about in the panel. We were asked to do something that at first wasn't very exciting. They yeah. Well, make Batman a teenager. Um, and Bruce came up with this idea to go into the future yep. instead and, and bring in a new Batman. Um, and it all kind of stemmed from that. Yeah. Um, we, we challenged ourselves. We said, okay, what's gonna be exciting about this? What's the kind of stories we're gonna tell that we wanna tell about this? Um, what themes are we gonna wanna explore? Yeah. Um, and as you heard on the panel, it was uh, probably part of what really worked out about it was the pride we were able to take in it, yep. that it was, we were coming up with stuff from whole cloth, we were getting to tell stories that we wanted to tell, yep. and we felt a lot less beholden to 
the existing comics history, and yet we got to draw from it whenever it made sense to. So it was the best of both worlds. I love that. And then what can we expect with the new you know, 20th anniversary edition that is coming out both on Blu-ray and DVD? Uh, I saw the same thing you just did, which okay. is the first time I got to look at it, awesome. and I think it looks fantastic. Cool. Uh, the, the remastering was done wonderfully. Uh, I My hope is that this brings a whole new yeah. generation of fans to it because, like I said, I think I think it's still gorgeous by today's standards. The the work that was done to put the Blu-ray together is great. There's some great um, uh, extra material interviews. Uh, everyone that was on the panel today and are doing wow. interviews with you guys today, yeah. we all got together and did a big round table where we talked about a lot of this stuff and, yeah. and much more informal kind of, you know, um, just sort of shot around memories of, uh, you know, uh, anecdotes and sure. real unedited, yeah. less edited than we were today. Um, so I think I think the extra materials are going to be a lot of fun. That would be cool. Okay, so folks, be sure to catch this via digital and on Blu-ray coming to you guys in October. I'm Michelle Noel with Bob Goodman, and thank you so much for joining us, and we'll hopefully we'll see you guys next time. Thank, thank you. you. Thank so you, Michelle. Much, Bob. San Diego Comic Con 2019. Joining me right now is James Tucker. He's the director over at Batman Beyond, and he's here to celebrate the 20th anniversary edition of Batman Beyond, the DVD, and coming to you on digital Blu-ray. Hey, James, thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, How's it like being a part of this particular project and celebrating the 20th anniversary and looking back at it as one of your early steps in your career? Um, it was a it was a great show to work on. Um, very um, collaborative yeah. in a way that I wasn't used to. Well, we always, on Bruce Tim shows, we always had free say and stuff. But because of the way this show had to come together so quickly, <laughs> it was just, there was just all hands on deck. Mm -hmm. And so um, it was very, um, it was very um, educational for my career sure. later as a producer because I saw how, basically how the, the inner workings of a show happened because I was part of it because we had to help make the show. We had to help create the components that made the show, the characters, backgrounds. Okay. All of that came from all a lot of input from the crew. Makes sense. And now you're also promoting Batman Hush, but what is the experience like, um, you know, compared to the two worlds with Batman Beyond and Batman Hush? Well, with Hush, it's because it's part of a, it's the only similarity is that the movies I do are part of a continuity too. Yeah. Even though they're spread so far apart, it's kind of hard to to keep them uh, as sequential as I'd like. But um, the other difference is because I had that experience on on Batman Beyond. I have um, I know how the machinery works. I oh, know yeah. I know how to get things made in a timely fashion within budget and all that and also and I'm sure technology has changed the technology has changed i mean the we you know on brave and uh, batman beyond sorry I keep <laughs> flipping them on batman beyond our first season was traditional cell paint ink. okay and then the second season it switched to computer and that okay. was the very first show that was of warners that became computer and so everything since then has been computer all right as far as ink and paint cool um so it was educational. That's interesting. Now, with the 20th anniversary edition that's coming out in via Blu-ray and digital in October, what new things can we expect from it? Um, I don't know what's all's on there. I know. I don't know if it's digitally remastered. Oh, that's digitally yeah. remastered, yes. <laughs> and some special. Um, footage. yeah, they do. You know, they they cleaned it up. I yeah. mean, they um, they did a, put a lot of bells and whistles on it, that's and amazing. there's some extra footage yeah. and. Uh, not extra footage, I should say, some, some extra features. Okay. That um, they got us talking about stuff. and So it's good. It's cool. a good package, and there's a little toy in it, too, I think. A oh, nice. Popple thing or okay. something. Well, we'll look it's a good deal. It. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like a really <laughs> cool uh, thing to look forward to over in October, so be sure to catch that on to you guys coming to your way in October. And, James, thank you so much for being here. Congratulations and happy anniversary to you thank guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have Enjoy, enjoy yourself. Here over at San Diego Comic-Con 2019, joining me right now is Glenn Murakami. He is the executive producer over at Batman Beyond, and he's here to talk about the 20th anniversary edition that's coming to you via Blu-ray and DVD. How are you, Glenn? I'm, I'm good. Awesome. Hey, we just saw you at Hall H. Uh, for okay. those folks out there who didn't get a chance to see the panel, what did you guys talk about? Oh, uh, uh, we just kind of talked about the history of the show and kind of what it was like working on it like yeah. 20 years ago, and uh, and the announcement of the the Blu-ray. So. Awesome! And then what can we expect with the new edition that's coming out? This is a really cool thing for the fans. Uh, out there. Uh, I don't know the 
details, but it's what remastered okay. and they kind of cleaned it all up, and uh, it will have uh, Return of the Joker on it, and okay. um, um, we did a bunch of uh, kind of supplemental material for the for the Blu-ray awesome. Blu Blu-ray Blu really. No worries. Um, you know, um, Batman's going on his 80th birthday. What is it about Batman that just stands before it? It stands the test of time. Um, his story is pretty um, iconic. Um, yeah. um, and it, it, it's a very human story. It's yeah. not really about the superpowers. It's, it's um, I think it's a very emotional story that kind of resonates with people. So I think that's yeah. why... Uh, Batman's been around for so long. For sure. And what important message do you want the fans out there to get from this? And as, as well as, you know, the character of Batman as well. Uh, original Batman or Batman Beyond? Batman Beyond. Yeah. Well, Batman Beyond, I think, was... Um, a, it still follows kind of the mythos of Batman, but I think his attitude about being Batman is different. Yeah. I think Terry likes being Batman versus mm -hmm. um, Bruce Wayne kind of sees it as a... Uh, his mission to kind of fight crime. Mm -hmm. Terry doesn't have that same level of pressure. Yeah, and so. different philosophy of life yeah. and how people approach different things. It's yeah. always interesting to see, especially with the new generation. Folks. Yeah. It's always it's good. But that's a good point. All right, well, Glenn, thank you so much for having thank us you. on our show. And Thanks. congratulations on your 20th anniversary. And thank we you. wish you the best in the future as well. Cheers to you. Great. That's